Right, I'm over at Kingswood. I've got the bus over. Nobody on it. Just two people downstairs, no one upstairs. It had just been cleaned. I wore my mask. And I'm walking back to Weston from Winscombe. I've come to Kingswood. And they're really cutting and chopping over here. Yeah, they're going, they're having a good old chopping session over here. Not quite sure why, but I've just realised there's a track you can follow down to Cross that way, which I never knew about. <sighs> of course, I've got a feeling some of Ian McNally's ashes were buried somewhere around here. Scattered, I mean. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling Ian was in one of these hollows here. And uh, near a tree, which is now being chopped down. So nothing's safe, is it? If you think about it, you might have thought, oh, this is a really nice place to have my ashes put. And then they, they're they carving it all up. Whether it might grow back again, I don't know. But anyway, I decided to come out. We've got three, four or five days, if, if not longer, of dry weather. This is the best one for low wind. So that's why I've chose the Crook Peak Walk. Because this, this is the most exposed area. And it's a long walk. I decided to come down to the bottom there. I got off the bus down there on the road. The A38 down there. And uh, I can't remember. I think I must have. Yeah, I did come up here last year, but not from this way. Sometimes I go up past um, St. James the Great Church at Twinscombe. I go up through that way a lot. But today I thought no. Or sometimes I come along the railway line, Strawberry Line, and come out down there. Oh, yeah, I do that as well. In fact, I haven't done this one where I've been dropped off by the bus for a couple of years. But I'm glad I've come out. It's absolutely amazing. It might be for the good, who knows? But they have cut a lot of trees down here. This is the Forestry Commission. And look at the huge tree here they've cut without any worry. Don't look diseased or nothing. Someone's going to have a lot of firewood this year. Look at the size of that. This is Kingswood, everyone. So if they can do it over here, what's going to stop them doing it in uh, on top of um, our World Report? If they can just do it here, look, I bet nobody's stopped them. I, I haven't heard any mention of this wood, but it's t definitely cleared. But it doesn't mean it won't come back. They won't chop it all down. Um, sometimes it's called maintenance, this is. I expect, I'm expecting more people to be out. Um, we're still in COVID restrictions. Um, I've had the jab two weeks ago. Look at the size of that big tree. God, that would have been a big whopper. Look at that. God, they've really gone crazy here, haven't they? i got a feeling I normally get on a track over there more. But you can see quite a lot here. I usually follow the wall more. I might go over there. Yeah, and I normally follow the wall when I go up. Um, it takes us to the same place, but you can just see the extent of the damage here. Um, this sort of video would be worth sharing. Um, I do see today as an essential day for myself because it's been terrible weather. It's been windy, wet, grey, dull, quite windy. And loads of trees this could be a white beam in it they talk about white beams maybe that's there's something about a white beam I don't know why they leave them but look at all the trees are cut here 
Anyway, I've seen this as a, an essential visit, really. It's to get an idea of what they will do. I mean, if I look it up when I get home later, I'll find out why they've been cut in here. I mean, some of these trees, why haven't they done that one? That's really old. But you see, you've got this huge one here. They've cut big trees like this down. This is a massive tree. It could be that they won't cut this one. I mean, it is quite a king of the wood, that one, isn't it? And another big one up there. I think it would be terrible to cut these big ones down. They're hundreds of years old, these are. They've got fungi living in them quite happily. These little footsteps fungi. At the moment I can do a video, there's no one about. It's too early for, for kids to be up running about, apart from little kids. Um, basically the, the kids are all going back to school next week. It's easing of the lockdown. I don't know if we're all unlocked. Um, it's a gradual thing. I think what it is they're going to... Sometimes some of the shops like Mountain Shop will probably open. This is a lovely view though, isn't it? Look at that lovely big tree. And this one. But lots cut, look. It could be for maintenance, I've got no idea. I've got no idea why. But there's nothing wrong with them. Look how healthy that one looks. I've got some... I'm having a few lighting problems with the camera for some reason. I don't know what it is yet. I touched it the other day and it's never been the same since. I'll probably have to recess it. So it's showing very white all the time. Where it's this lovely blue sky. Yeah. Another big tree. That looks like a beech tree. It must be disturbing for the birds here as well. Shoot shelf hill over there. More trees. It's a bit of a shock actually, I must admit. It is a bit of a shock. I'm going to turn off for a minute and take some photos. Just a little extension to this part of Kingswood. Here's a big house. Um, I can't remember what it does, but it, it's got a function. I can't remember what it is exactly. There's a big sign further down. Just a little um, extension to this part of Kingswood. Here's a big house. Um, I can't remember what it does, but it, it's got a function. I can't remember what it is exactly. There's a big sign further down. Um, I used to know, but I don't know if it's a conference centre. It, I can't remember. Anyway. Here, or it might even be an old people's home now. Here we've got this lovely little, um, I can't remember what you call it. It's like a summer house in the garden with lovely carved images of um, supports there. Look, they're really pretty, aren't they? And on the wall as well behind the, the panelling. It's all nicely carved, like um, acorns or something like that. Yeah. I thought I'd just do a little bit of... Um, of that because that seems very pretty. I took some photos of it as I was coming along. Anyway I've walked up along here and they are really doing they're not just tidy in the wood though. I mean basically they're they're um cutting down some really big healthy trees. I wonder what the what all that's about. Look at that lovely little bit of moss there look clinging to the tree. Some of them would have lost homes now. Lovely little, 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 little bit of moss. Yeah, imagine. Someone with a dog. There's already quite a few people past me, but I like to go near the wall. Well, let's see what you can see. See, there's a bit of tile there, look. Ah, that's probably a bit of old glazed tile. 
could be very old, couldn't it? To be glazed like that. Now, I'm not going to take it. I can't keep taking things. There's some old tiles down here as well. Um, pottery. Bits of pottery here, see? Bits of pottery there. You'd be surprised what you can find when you go off track. <clears throat> you won't find so much on track. You can, but if you go off, I found coins and all sorts I have. I found a Victorian penny not long ago. Just walking like this. It's shining and coming. A lot of people do get seen walking and talking to themselves these days. Now they haven't gone up here yet. They haven't a uh, bit of tidy in there. Seems to have stopped down that bit. But they've cut down some really big healthy trees by the way. Maybe they're stockpiling wood. Or we're, we've encouraged to cut our trees for making our own furniture. I mean, now we're out with Brexit. It could be that forestry, woodland, it's going to come into a different function. Um, I don't know. This is just something I've just thought about now. If they're cutting big, healthy trees like that down, are they going to use them to make furniture, to provide wood for people's fires um, sell it abroad you know we've got to look into the economy if we've come out on our own now I expect they're thinking of other ways of uh, making money I said, my camera's not, I need to really reset it when I get home later because um, it's all right. It is showing blue sky, but I, it's happened before when I've touched something and then you just get a lot of white and yellow. Look at the curves on this lovely tree. Look, as it's twisted just to strengthen itself, really. This reminds me of the River Abbey up in Scotland. Um, the Da Vinci Code place. Some animals rubbed itself against it, look, scratched its back here. But this is, it's got in one of the pillars in the River, River Abbey. Is it River Abbey? Um, no, no, not the River Abbey. That one up in um, the, De the St. Clair place. Um, you know, where the Da Vinci Code was. They've got a pillow that curved like that, but apparently it was a mistake. But everyone knows about it. But that's probably a... a, 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 a the tree has done that to keep itself up. Well, look at that lovely branch there. Imagine how many people have climbed up and sat on that and had their photo taken. I do hope they're not going to get this one down. Some of these trees have been known, well, that, that is at least two or three hundred years old. It's got to be. This is an old part of the wood up here. Maybe they won't touch these. But now, since I came last this way, which could be a couple of years back, coming in this way, so I've done Crook's Peak last year, um, I've just noticed how much emptier it is because I'm sure there were a lot more bushes and but I can imagine herds of people coming up here and um <coughs> lovely bit of moss there look you know with everyone being off work for a load uh, people have been encouraged to get out and exercise and this reminds me of what's happening in my local wood at Worldbury where people are 
coming out in huge herds and the paths get widened there's more churning of the mud <laughs> but you can see more actually I can I think they've done a lot of clearing here because I can't remember these big trees being with their lower trunks being quite so obvious but they probably were there's some lovely big trees here a lovely old Somerset wall there um, of some manor some Winscombe manor yeah so I climbed gradually up I like to take my time and people have to be thinking oh good she's doing a different walk and look at the size of that one there massive trunk and then if we go over there's another massive trunk and another massive trunk now I've had to wear my quilted winter walking jacket coat because I've needed to and you need it more at the end of the walk I've not been wearing what I call my bear jumper I've already started to leave that one off it's been washed out and it probably won't be worn now well it won't be worn for the next week it might even be packed away for until next winter because we've got a good spell coming and or it's here but also they did warn that there could still be a blast from Siberia and we could have some very very arctic weather yet so you can never rule out March no but I've got out while there's a window of opportunity <sighs> no wind it's nice to walk this route when there's no wind <sighs> I mean in the summer a gentle wind is nice a breeze to keep you cool but I've already taken my gloves off and I'm when I turn this video off in a minute I'm going to take my hat and my scarf off but this is quite a thick padded quilted jacket and uh, but I will need it later but it is uh, you know it's quite a, a warm coat to wear and I've just gone uphill it doesn't make you sweat though I've got some jackets that are so-called waterproof but you get more wet on the inside than on the outside anyway I don't tend to wear them very much they're totally emergency things I've got some roll-up ones I like to get the ones with the mesh inside because that does help break up the sweat your perspiration hello old tree you're old aren't you you've seen a lot you're wondering what's going on down below, aren't you? I don't think they should touch you. I hope not. Yeah, they haven't really, they probably have done stuff up here because it looks very clear. Um, in a minute, I'll be on the top. There's various walks you can do around here. There's various pathways that you can walk around the base if you want to, if you don't want to do the hill. That's the sort of thing I might do when I'm very ancient and I think going up here would be too much. <sighs> Hello tree. Hello. I'm worried about our trees, you know, over Wilbury. <sighs> See, this was probably an old fort once. If everyone wants to strip all the woods down, this is what happens. I've just seen at the corner of my eye somebody coming right down there because I, I tend to be a bit of a plodder people that were started off with me they're already right up there but you, you get what's called marchers and they do, they march I couldn't go out with people like that I have got breathing um, issues 
I've had them for... Well, I've always had a bit of a breathing problem all my life, really. But uh, not asthma. That came on later. And that's more allergic asthma than anything. Hello, sheepies. Hello. There's a little track there, look. Takes you down to that big manor house. Yeah, just get my breath back a bit. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, I used to run marathons. It's, don't get me wrong. I'm, I've not, I've not been an invalid. I was a smoker for some periods of my life, mainly when I was older, and I became a nurse. At the age of 42, I took up smoking. I had smoked a bit when I was younger, but not that much. Not like now. Not like I did when I became a nurse, and everyone was puffing away. And it was so stressful, everyone wanted a fag. In the end, you just had one. All the breaks were... <laughs> embraced fags in those days. Then it all came to an end. You had to go out and, um, you know, a <sighs> bit of shelter here for some sort of animal. And here we are, we're coming up now. So the top here, I've, I've got all the names. We've got Cheddar Reservoir over there, Cheddar and Uxbridge Reservoir. I've done these videos lots and lots of times, by the way. I've even sung David Bowie songs up here. But yeah, I chose today to come out. It was a short 20 minute trip on the bus, maybe less than that. Nobody upstairs. I opened all the windows. I wore my mask. And um, there was only two people downstairs. And this is a double-decker. So basically, I've had the jab. I know you've got to wait for the second one. But the thing is, we've had terrible, terrible weather. And I was going on buses when the Covid outbreak was really massive before anyone sort of really thought about it. I might have even had it. Right, over and out for a minute, take some pictures.